Welcome to my trade tips. Now there's many ways you can improve your home and add value to it. One great way is to construct your own decking area. Now thanks to Silverline's wide range of hand and power tools, it's never been easier to do it yourself. The first stage of the construction is to set the area out where you're going to build the decking. If it happens to be on soft ground, you're going to have to lay some pad foundations. Using your string line, start to mark out the full area and shape of your decking. Hammer some stakes into the ground to hold your string line in place. The ground here is soft gravel, so I'm going to need to lay some pad foundations. Dig some small holes around 300mm square by 300mm deep. Mix up some wet concrete and pour or shovel until the hole's full. The concrete pad foundations need to be every metre apart. Now the next stage is to build and fit the subframe. Now this is what you're going to attach the deck and planks to. The subframe structure can be built from 4 inch by 2 inch sawn tantalised timber. Drill your clearance holes 400mm apart along the full length of the ledger beam. Set your height and mark it on the wall where you want the frame to sit. It wants to be at least 150mm above any damp proof course. Using a masonry drill bit and a hammer action drill, drill through the clearance holes into the brickwork. Apply a raw plug and hammer it in tight. Start to drive in your bolts through the clearance holes. Then when it's offered up to the brickwork, continue to drive the bolts through the beam to bite tightly into the raw plugs. Now the main ledger beam is firmly fixed level to the wall. You can start to mark up and lay out where you need to mount your joist hangers. These want to be 500mm apart and will hold the joist to the main ledger beam. Screw them down with 40mm galvanised screws. Start to cut all of your joists to the required length. Laying them out across the area, sitting one end into the joist hanger and placing another joist hanger on the opposite end. Fit another 4 inch by 2 inch beam on the front section. This acts as a bearer beam and holds the other ends of the joists and hangers in place. Noggins can be cut down to size from off cuts of timber and then screwed in between each joist to stop them twisting. You can stagger them to make it easier to screw together. Using a crowbar and some wooden chocks, jack up the loose frame until it's level. Fix some more off-cuts of timber to the side of your joists, directly over the area of your pad foundations. This helps reinforce the joist to take any weight. Then apply wood treatment to any recently cut timber. You can construct your subframe to any shape and size. I'm going to trim back the corner, set your angle and place a straight length of timber across the top of the joists. Then mark up using a pencil. Trim back using a good sharp handsaw. Then apply another bearer beam to the cut angled edge of the joist. Now that's the subframe complete. The next stage is the final stage and that's to screw down all the deck and planks firmly into position. Clamp and screw the first decking plank to the front of the bearer beam to act as a fascia board. Apply the top decking planks, making sure that all joints sit directly on the joists below. Measure and cut the next piece using a circular saw. When positioning your decking, you're going to need to use spacers. These slot in between each plank for a consistent gap. These come with the Craig decking system, which has a specially designed guide to help drill and screw diagonally through the edge of each plank. All planks need to be screwed down on both edges into the joist below to firmly hold them into position. Using your pencil, draw around any obstacles that happen to be in the way. Clamp down your marked up plank to a stable workbench. Then using a jigsaw, cut around the shape that you require.
continue laying and fixing down your decking planks, leaving an overhang on the corner where you're about to create the angle. Run your string line across the corner where you're about to cut. Place the spillet level on top of the line and mark with a pencil. Using a circular saw, cut across the line to create the perfect shape of your decking area. And finally, fit the rest of your decking planks until it's complete. Always remember to use your spacers and firmly screw down each plank to the joists below. Not forgetting to apply wood preserver to all the cut edges. Now hopefully my trade tips will have inspired you and given you the confidence to do it yourself. Remember, if you've got any DIY related questions or you need any information on the tools, please visit the website, silverlinetools.com.